guys, it's Amanda. So today I have a huge fall haul. I did some shopping. This wasn't all at once. It was over periods of time because it's starting to get a little bit colder and I'm going to be able to wear warmer things. So I decided to kind of stock up for this and I also got some candles because Bath and Body Works had their two for 22 candle sale and I'm obsessed with candles so I kind of went crazy with that. I am just going to show you some things that I got over this past month or two. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with candles because they are life and there's nothing more fall than these fall candles from Bath and Body Works. I'm just warning you, I did go crazy. There's a lot of candles, but it's so exciting. First one is Spiced Pumpkin Cider. I am terrible at describing the scent. It literally smells like Spiced Pumpkin Cider. Take those three words, boom. That is what it smells like. I haven't lit this one yet. There's a lot of them that I haven't lit yet. Um. But this one's really warm. This one is Renew and Refresh. I did like this one. It's just so clean and fresh and something that I feel like you would put in your bathroom or I kept this in my office so like when I was working I would have just a nice refreshing. This one is Autumn. I had this one just like in the living room. A crisp fall fragrance that blends dark pomegranate with red delicious apple and juicy fig in notes of fire balsam. Uh, and this one is sandalwood citrus. I know Bath and Body Works has a ton of candles that kind of smell like boy, like mahogany teakwood is like their famous one, and there's a few others too. This one kind of has the boy scent, but it's not so, like way, way too overwhelming. I can't really burn mahogany teakwood anymore just because it's like so overwhelming. At first it smells amazing, and then it's just like too much. It's so, so, so strong. And I think this is gonna be awesome because it still has that musky scent, but it's not crazy, crazy intense. This is wasabi apple. Um, that sounds a little weird. It's just an apple scent, like, mixed with something a little bit spicy. So it's, like, perfect for... This is leaves. Everyone knows of leaves. I've bought this multiple times, and it's amazing. So I just got this. It's, like, a favorite. Then this is spiced apple toddy. I don't... Whoa. This is different. I don't know how to explain this. Apple, brandy, and spiced plum infused with Mulder cider and tart cranberry. Ooh. Then lastly, pumpkin apple. This is what I've been burning a lot in my room. It's so warm and just puts you into that mood, that fall mood, like cozy. And even though it's like 80 degrees out, if I'm in my room, I can burn this and think that it's like fall and chilly and leaves falling because that doesn't actually happen here. Those are all the candles I got, and I'm so excited to burn them all. They're literally light. Next, I went to Brandy Melville, The Bay. So this is all, all black everything stuff. Uh, oops. I got this crop sweater, and it says parental explicit control. I just think it's super cool, and it's like warm too for fall, and it's cropped so you can wear it with high-waisted jeans. I don't know how else to explain it other than it being super cool. Then I got this dress. It's like this soft, flowy material that I have a couple dresses like this from Brandy Melville too. I have just a plain black one. It's like t-shirt dress and then the striped t-shirt dress. This is the same material and I love the other one so much so I had to get this one too. It looks like a kind of like a baseball jersey. It stripes this way and has these sleeves. I think it's super cool. And then lastly, I got this backpack. It's just like a pleather mini backpack. I have a leather one that I use a lot, or or pleather, not actually leather, but I use it a lot, and I needed something a little bit smaller. This is definitely smaller, but the same kind of style. I'm going to the Life is Beautiful Festival in Las Vegas, and I'm going to need a little backpack to carry some stuff around with me, so I thought this would be perfect. Adding to the music festival, I decided to go to Urban Outfitters to get some things to wear because it's definitely a type of style. I am just so excited to put together outfits for the music festival because this is my first music festival I've ever been to and I know the style is a big part of it. So I got a few things that I'm going to try to work into my own wardrobe that I already have. This first thing is this mesh dress. So you can't really tell on camera, but it's definitely mesh like this. And it's a long, long dress. It's like a maxi dress and then it has the slits on the side. You definitely have to wear something underneath it. I think I'll wear like high-waisted shorts and a black crop top too. Or may I don't know, I'll have to figure out what I want to wear underneath it, but I think it looks super cool. And I got this skirt. I got this skirt actually because I got this other skirt from Topshop that's kind of similar. Um, it's like a muted color like this, but it was blue, and it's a little bit longer, it's a different style, but it's kind of the same feel. So I got this one um, in this lavender color. I am in love with like the muted colors like this, like super pale and 
darker. If I'm gonna have color in my wardrobe, it's gonna be something like this. And this skirt is just like, it seems like knee length and it tapers in the front and goes on the side. I am in love with kimonos, so I had to get another one. This one is just this maroon color and there's some like beige in it. And at the bottom, there's like these little tassels. And then I got this super cool necklace. I'm not sure how I'm gonna wear this, but I just thought it would be perfect for the festival and I'd wear it other times too. It has this like long chunky chain and then right here, it looks kind of like suspenders that would be on here. Um, it's like leather pieces and then this like stone at the bottom. It's very, very interesting. I think it's awesome. Also, when I was at Urban Outfitters, I got this sweater that I'm wearing now. This is my new favorite sweater. I don't think I'll ever take it off this whole season. Oh, both seasons. Winter, too, I'll probably wear it. I, can't, I still can't tell if it's purple or gray because in some lights it looks purple and then in other lights it looks straight gray. So, I don't know, but it's like it has this V right here, so I wear like a black bralette underneath it and it's super long and oversized and just comfy and it's perfect. But I finally found some good stuff in store. First, I got this jacket. This is like the perfect fall jacket. It's like cozy and it's brown, so it's not just straight black, you know, because I usually wear all black and I get a ton of um, err on that. It's just super drapey and you can't really see it here, but it's so drapey and loose and I'm excited to see how I will put this together because I haven't tried to style it yet, but I have high hopes for it. I think it's super cute. And this, I think this is gonna be a fall obsession of mine. I really like the chunky sweaters with like this big turtleneck. I got this one in this like dark green color, but I definitely wanna get like one in black or cream. I don't know why I like it so much, but I think just like this chunky Tur turtleneck looks so cool and this is gonna be a fall staple and lastly from forever 21 I got this shirt it's just this like maroon kind of color dark purple it has a little bit of a turtleneck but I definitely wouldn't like look like a turtleneck on and it's tight velvet I just thought it was interesting and I'm excited to wear it <laughs> The last thing I'm going to show you are some boots that I got. So boots are definitely a necessity for fall. The ones that I had that are kind of similar to this are too small for me now. And they were heels, so I wanted something more of like a flat shoe. So I got these ones from Steve Madden, and I think I'm going to live in these for fall. And it's like chunkier than a normal Chelsea boot, so I think this will this will work for me. Anyways, that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this kind of inspired you in some way. Maybe have some inspiration of what you want to get if you think you need to get some stuff for fall. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to comment down below any ideas of more videos you want to see. Now that it's fall time, we're changing it up. Let me know what you want to see. And thanks for watching again. Bye. Mwah.